Welcome to Transport Vlog. My name is Paul and I'm at Brangery Station late on a Thursday evening and tonight Metro trains are doing some unusual things. Let's check it out. So according to the passenger information displays, services are terminating at Barangaroo Station and it's a limited stop service. How strange. The train to Barangaroo is going to enter platform number two. Okay, so trains are definitely terminating at Barangaroo according to the announcements. But I thought I'd get on anyway, as the MTS customer journey coordinator seemed more interested in getting normal passengers off the train. Notice the red horizontal line on the points indicator. They're not signals and you only see them at junctions. Ooh, a diagonal white line. I'm getting a bit excited now. So it looks like this train will be used in the double crossover, which makes sense as it's just terminated here. So now in the southbound tunnel heading north and our virtual driver is keeping things nice and slow until the whole train has traversed the crossover junction. But instead of slowing down to reverse, our train starts to speed up. So now going under Sydney Harbour in the southbound tunnel instead of the northbound one at around 80 kilometres an hour. I hope our virtual driver knows what they're doing. It's weird seeing the emergency walkway on the left instead of the right. This gentle curve up ahead marks our entry to Sydney's lower north shore and our ascent towards Victoria Cross Station. There's no going back now. Around about here, the metro tunnels go under the Waverton to Lavender Bay line, which is used to stable trains in the sidings close to Luna Park. This long curve to the right is taking the line towards North Sydney CBD, and our metro train seems quite happy traversing this curve at 80 km an hour. All manual on-train announcements come from the control centre at Talawong, and you'll only hear these when something unusual or unexpected is happening, such as now. So as you heard, this train is terminating at Victoria Cross, where it will then reverse and return to Sydenham via the same tunnel. And reversing is quick and easy when there is no driver to change ends. Now for the following train coming into platform 1 from the wrong direction. Well that was fun being on the northbound train in the southbound tunnel and it shows you how flexible the CBTC Sydney Metro signalling system is. Please give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.